Hello everyone, welcome to UA Brains and this is Naveen. So in this video, we'll see a new question. The question is string match. So the question is, let me zoom, given the given two integers, I mean, sorry, given two strings A and B. So written the number of positions where they contain the same string length to substring. So the string and this string will be giving the number 3 means the xx, aa and az substrings appear in the same place in both the strings. So what they want is written the number of positions where they contain the same string of length 2 substring. It means they given a, a string and b string. So in that they have to find out exactly uh, a string which is of the length 2 means uh, these two characters exactly same position the b also these two characters same so that's what they have to find out so let me analyze this question suppose the a string is like this a x x b c uh, c okay and next one is a x d b d c okay can you guess what is the count let me find out see here a x a x matching the count is what one plus next x x x d the count no and then x b x b no here b d and exactly same position b d so count as one and then d c and then d c so another count one so we have to find out in both the strings the the two characters length substring should be in a same position in the both the strings then how many number of times it has come you have to make the count of it okay one last thing I say A, B, C here and uh, C, B, C here. What's the count? Here A, B and B, C. Only two things will come. So A, B, C, B not match. and But here B, C and B, C is match. So count is just one. Okay. So we have to find out. And then one more. I say A, B and then A, B. Now the count is? One. Okay, I say A and A. What's the count? Zero. Why the count zero here is they wanted to find out exactly the substring of length 2. Is that length 2? No. So, it's zero. So, if you want to make this solution of it, you have to first check the, uh, the string length to be more than 2. I mean, greater than or equal to 2. Then only go for the logic. Otherwise, return this zero which right? so now let's start with the program so now here let me uh, go to this copy the question go to here eclipse and paste okay so here I just take integer count is equal to zero and now we have to check if a dot length is greater than or equal to two and b dot length is also greater than or equal to 2 okay then the logic so you have to loop uh, this both the lengths okay so i just say uh, so you, earlier we have seen what uh, you can loop either one string but here what two strings you have to loop so you can do like this so for integer i equal to 0 and i less than what so i less than a dot length and also i less than b dot length okay and i plus plus okay so now we are checking i should be in the range of a as well as in the range of b okay so now here let me give a space yeah so now just check if 
str dot exactly two characters I want. So I can go for substring str dot sorry it's not str a a dot substring of uh, i comma i i plus two dot equals so a dot substring of i comma i plus two the exactly the two characters position is equal to same as the b string substring so b dot substring of uh, i comma i plus two if this match just increase the count to plus plus okay now you can just return the count okay so i'm just checking a dot substring of i comma i plus two the the two character string is equal to the b strings two characters substring okay if both are same then only increment the counts but here one more problem will come thing is we are just checking the i value up to uh, i mean less than the length but here we have done the i plus two it may go to watch you know string index out of bound exception uh, let me find out this uh, first let me copy this and back to here and let me just paste it and click on go yes only this success but remaining and all uh, i got string index out of bound exception just because of i think uh, uh, this one a dot length and b dot length okay i uh, can do one thing i can just like uh, length minus one and also length minus one because substring means the last index to be inclusive of the index so i just made it minus one and minus one and now let me copy this let me just paste it and click on go yes everything success okay so this is what the solution for this problem okay and also uh, please practice on this and i'm gonna keep in a description below uh, of this video uh, about the solution okay so please go to that uh, link and uh, please grab this answer okay so thank you so much for watching and we'll see the next question in the next video thank you